What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're starting a new series today. We're gonna be going to the best food trucks around San Diego. Uh, last time we went to Puerto del Cielo, today we're at another uh, taco truck. It's called La Cocina del Abuelo, and it's a food truck out here in San Marcos, and we're gonna try some food. Let's get into it. So starting off, we got the birria sampler. It comes with a mulita, a uh, normal birria taco, and then a street taco as well. And we also got some uh, cilantro onion on there. Uh, the tortilla is like fried in the consomme as well. And then we got some salsas. Connor said he's gonna try the habanero salsa, which is uh, really spicy. And then uh, the you yeah, can have yeah. the you get a green. <laughs> All right, Here we go. gonna take a bite. All right. Beauty. Oh wait, guys, don't forget the consomme. Yep. Not about to. Mm. Yeah, since this one is just like tortilla and uh, meat, you can taste like all the flavor of the beef. It was really good. I think the consomme. Uh, we'll have to wait till I try it on our own, but it was like not as extremely flavorful. But uh, overall, solid taco. I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten. Yeah. So I've never had like a mulita before, but it's basically just the same thing as a taco. It's just like a, a taco sandwich, you know? But, I mean, it's pretty good. I'd say it's probably about the same as just a regular taco. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. I really like this because it's simple. It's just tortilla and meat. And I agree with Tidy, the consomme didn't add much flavor, but the taco itself was just great. They cooked it to perfection. So I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. All right, all, that's all. All right, uh, next up we got a pretty unique thing. We got a grilled cheese birria sandwich. We'll try that next. change of plans the quesadilla was looking pretty appetizing so we're gonna try that one instead of course uh it's got got a good amount of cheese on there the meat uh put some put some salsa cilantro onion and we're gonna dip it in the consomme dip it, dip it into it dip it into it mm -hmm. dip it into it yeah that one's definitely it was tastes like the other one but cheese adds like a lot of flavor it definitely made it a lot better uh salsa is a good kick on that i recommend it actually went really good with the taco i'd recommend putting that one the habanero salsa on there and uh tortilla perfectly crunchy consomme was uh tasting pretty good this time i'm gonna give this one a uh nine out of ten really good there's like a lot of meat in this taco that's that's really good like and there's a lot it of is flavor. yeah there's so much flavor and the tortilla is like really crispy and just really good so i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten yeah, in my opinion, this is just like the street taco where the meat was great and tortilla was perfect, but it had cheese this time, so it just adds more and more. Also, habanero has a really nice kick, so I highly recommend trying that. Overall, I'm gonna give this taco a 9.5 out of 10. Okay, next time for real, we're gonna try the grilled cheese the beer sandwich this time. Hey guys, we asked for just a small knife to cut up the sandwich, but uh, they, gave us, they gave us this one. I'm actually a little scared of doing this. I'll cut out the paper on. What? Because <laughs> the knife is so strong, obviously. I don't think like you the garlic spray. Yeah, you Probably. Cut. Ooh. Sorry. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna retry with the other half. Oh, no, guys, I have to oh. it. Retry with the other half. <laughs> Wait, no, it's almost done. Approximately 10 hours later. Oh, it's because I was cutting the paper. All right, boom. That's crazy. Uh, finally, we got the... Uh, Grilled cheese birria sandwich here. Look at this, look at this uh, crunchiness review here. 
Oh, oh, oh. That's nice and nice and hard, crunchy. A lot of cheese in there. Crispy. Crispy, yeah, crispy, crispy. There's already uh, some cilantro onion in there, and uh, we're just gonna dip it in this beer, and we're gonna, I mean, the consomme, and we're gonna dip it into it. Look at this cheesy bite right here. Ready? Never what I've expected to be eating a uh, grilled cheese sandwich with birria in it. Uh, it was super good. I think they also, the bread is like cooked in the consomme, like how they do it with the tortillas. They, they fry it in there. And the egg, just so much cheese made it a lot better. And uh, the birria uh, uh, with all the other tacos tasted really good. It tasted really good in this one too. Consomme made it nice and uh, nice flavor as well. And cilantro and onion added more. So uh, as, you, as they always say, if if there's cheese, it's a 10. So I'm giving a 10. Uh, yeah, I agree with basically everything he just said. This was just a really good sandwich. It was just perfection, you know. It's a 10 out of 10 sandwich. Yeah. Dude, I love this. Yep, Tade said it perfectly. Everything about this was just pure perfection. Like, honestly, it was just the tacos, but two points higher. So, obvious 10 out of 10. The crispiness made it super good too. Uh, okay, next we'll do some consomme review. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna do a consomme review now. Uh, it was, in the tacos, it wasn't super flavorful, but we're gonna try it now. We'll get some of that. It's because maybe, oh yeah, there's not there, there's not meat in this. There's only a little bit, so maybe that's what's doing it. But look, we're gonna try it for real this time. Yeah, it was definitely not like the best consomme we've had. Definitely the last taco truck, it was like super flavorful. This time it tasted like kind of plain. It was mostly the flavors were just coming from the cilantro and onion. I think if they put like the actual beer in here, it would like marinate and make it a lot better. But uh, overall, not really good. I'll give it like a 6.5 uh, to 7. Yeah, I agree. It's like nothing special, nothing horrible, obviously. Like you really can't mess it up. It's just really good. It's really good soup food in general. So I'm gonna give it a 7.5. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it was kind of average. There wasn't much flavor. Honestly, this is not my favorite. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. They should have just had more meat flavor. All right, next up we got final reviews. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this place is really good. If you're out here, San Marcos, a lot. Uh, Cucina del Abuelo food truck. Uh, we're gonna continue this series, hopefully next next video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and be sure to share this video with all your friends. Oh, and, and like the video. Also. Oh yeah, that's it. This video is insane. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next. Subscribe time. to Heal Connor's Ankle. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, I was about to eat the camera. Oh, it's not stopping.